We made a two-player Pac-Man game, a set map, and you moves up and down, side to side, on a two-axis slide. "Quote unquote ghost" um, is represented by the blue LEDs here, um, and it can move at, into any position on the board. So there's just a map laid out with some wood blocks here, um, and the Pac-Man it won't it won't allow the Pac-Man to go through a barrier or the ghost to go through a barrier. Um, so to start the game, you there's a slot here on the front. I uh, just put a quarter in, and then you can move around. <coughs> so this guy can move all around, and so if it's in a position like this, there's a barrier on the right and left, and it won't let it to let it go right or left. Um, same thing up or down. So if there's a barrier right here, it won't let it go up, but you can go left or right. Um, same thing with the ghost. So there's a barrier here, so it can't go down, but it can move right or left. Yeah, it can't go outside. And the lights just start all flashing. So, um, eventually, the I'll show you the end state of the game here. When the game ends, if we get this Pac-Man down here. Um, all the lights are going to blink, and then the Pac-Man will return to the home position. Once we get the communication going, we'll actually be able to eat the lights, so you can do a time trial of how long it takes you to eat, get around the board and eat all the lights. We basically have two Arduinos, uh, two Arduino Megas, um, and the reason why we had to have so many um, inputs and outputs is because we needed each individual light um, to have its own input, um, and also for the four separate motors. So it took a lot of inputs and a lot of wires. Also, we integrated the pick um, to the speaker um, so we could play a song through PWN. These are just pulleys um, that are threaded onto a rod with a um, set screw on the motor shaft. We just have string here. So these guys move up and once you get to a position here. So we can move side to side. So these two move it in the x direction and these two move it in the y direction. In order for us to only use two motors, we would have had to bring a string over here, connect to this side, bring it all the way around to the back, connect to this side, and then all the way back to the motor. So there's just a lot of friction in the system and we couldn't get enough torque out of the motors to do all of that. Um, so we just have uh, two stepper motors controlling each direction um, and they're moving in sync. Um, and then those, uh, the signals are coming straight from each, uh, from this Arduino, so this is the Pac-Man Arduino, from this Arduino to uh, the four driver boards there.